Hey y'all, this your girl Miss Danny Baby back one mo again, again with another video. Again, it's November 2018. Chilling, chilling like a mega villain. We're gonna get into it about Miss Remy Ma. Um, a lot of you have probably already heard um the hot topic that's going about around about Remy Ma, Remy Ma's commentary that she made on uh, what's his name? Joe Button's new show on Revolt TV is called um, uh, State of the Culture. Now, this is a new show for him after his little um, time that he had with with uh, DJ Academics. They had a show where they spoke a lot about you know rap topics and things of that nature. But you know the contract wore out. Uh, went they went their separate ways and now he's doing this and this this show actually just broke open like two months ago like in september so it's to be expected that a lot of marketing is going to be at play where we're going to be seeing you know um controversial discussions happening that's to get everybody to tune in that's what celebrities do i remember when um queen tv started just you know coming to the forefront with Nicki minaj and we all know that Nicki minaj is a well-known renowned entertainer in her own right but yet still to get her show on and popping here comes the controversy with cardi b so controversy does work but, you know, sometimes I don't appreciate controversy. A, a lot of times I don't appreciate dumb statements. And despite my former adoration and like that I have for Miss Remy Ma, I feel like she's throwing on a cape right now, which is what I depicted in this little silly little drawing here that I put together <laughs> just to put her on blast. But she's... I mean, this 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 chick is actually throwing on a cape for R. Kelly, y'all. And that's why, you know, a lot of folks are discussing her. Um, the reason why he's back in the news again is because there's a documentary that I think it's supposed to come out like in January on Life TV or Lifetime, the Lifetime Network, where they're going to be interviewing some of his victims. And for this video, for all intents, intents and purposes, I'll say alleged, even though though 99% of the people that accuse him, I believe it wholeheartedly. Um, but And that's my right to do so as a human being. But for just, you know, just to, to play it safe, I'll say allegedly, occasionally. But... To get into the topic, this is a uh, this is this right here, Remy Ma, and her disposition on the show is a disposition that I see a lot of Black women take when it comes to Black womanhood and girlhood being defended. Believe it or not, sometimes women can be some of the most objecting parties out there. Sometimes they object more so than the dudes. It's just like really, really crazy, you know. She already has a child of her own. She's pregnant with a new one with her little her little um boo that's on her little boo in diapers that's on the way. But you know, it, it's just really ironic because just a, a few months ago, I never got around to it, but I was going to do a video on Remy Ma, you know, her comeback story. You know, I thought it was very um, charming and very a positive story with her having some trouble in her past life, going to jail, um, getting involved in some stuff that she... No, she shouldn't have been involved in an altercation that could have been avoided and a violent situation that could have been avoided. But an altercation ensued. She shot somebody and she ended up going to jail. And from what I understand, New York has some of the stiffest gun um, laws on the books in this entire country. So for her to step to a female because she was mad for whatever the hell it was 
and be accused and convicted of actually shooting her and she could have killed her if she'd have killed the girl oh my god what would have happened then but anyway it, it you know it's like you know she was the underdog you know her rap career didn't really get a chance to do what it possibly could have done but the girl came out got onto reality tv tv we got to see her and her hubby um we get the, got to see her get married, um, and that Papoose waited on her. Was he celibate the whole time he was gone, I, or that she was gone? I don't know if, you know, they had an understanding that he could do what it do while she's in jail. I don't know. Was she allowed Conjure go visits? I don't know. That's really none of our business, but it's still interesting and positive that they were able to hold it down and hold it together, Okay. And so she had this big elaborate wedding. She had it in the winter time though. I'm like, what the fuck? I, I, I can't get down with winter weddings, but you know, to each his own, but it was still pretty. She was a beautiful bride. And one of the thing, pap, things that Papoose asked her when they, after the wedding ceremony and everything, and they were sitting down chilling, looking at all the guests, all happy and shit. And he was like, okay, I did the big wedding now. You gonna give me a baby? And she had this little, you know, this little smirky smirk, little cute little smile. She's like, yeah, we could do the baby now. So, and from what I understand, she had like a mis miscarriage or two. She had problems like carrying the baby a baby for them originally but now she's pregnant things seem to be doing well they renewed their vows this summer um and, and the video that i was gonna do on her was gonna speak on that and how beautiful that she actually looked in the picture i may show a picture before this video is over but it was this picture where she's standing against the wall girlfriend was looking fierce with her little heels i mean just all that um brown girl magic just looking adorable cute and she's a very a very beautiful woman in my opinion now the panel that um joe budden has on his show it's himself and it was this guy named jinx and then it, it confused me of course but it's this other beautiful woman um her name's scotty bean that's her the name she goes by her little moniker but i don't know what her real name is and it's like beam me up scotty get it star trek play on words but she calls herself scotty bean and then of course we have remy ma now remy ma plays the little contrarian character it seems so far i haven't watched every episode but i'm from what i'm hearing about it this is like the position that she's pl plays little mary contra um M little miss mary quite contrary that type of um character but to me now she's coming across like a clueless type of broad like um stacy dash you know when she was doing her little fox thing and what really bothers me as being a woman not that she should be on some i hate all men type of tip but the the severe the severe lack of empathy that she shows for situations where women might be getting caught up with some predatory circumstances where a guy is violating them and she's taking on this big mantra and this big this position that that just because she's been in jail just because she suffered behind bars and with the jail um under circumstances that she thought was unfair you know, in her mind, she felt that it was unfair and that she was um, sent to prison unjustifiably. She feels she 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 has this 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 banner, this torch that she's carrying for all like felons and shit. It, it, it's really disturbing. I wish I could play a clip of the video, but what I'll do is just link the video below here so you guys can see for yourself. They talk about different topics um but if you go to the video go to about the 32 minute mark and that's where they get into the discussion about r kelly but they talk about a bunch of different things like you know felons rights and different little things i think a fight broke out um with some basketball players i think it was the lakers and some other team you know they, they talked about it. and it's a really funny show i think the panel is pretty cool i know john uh joe button has had his ups and downs 
you know, we can go into a whole show on him. But, you know, I like him actually as a host of a show. I feel he has his own talent to bring to the table. But when the subject of R. Kelly come, came up, you'll notice that Remy Ma is, is, is on some I ain't gonna take sides type of shit. The men on the panel, and the men, again, was Joe Budden and this guy named Jinx, they were more sympathetic to the plight of the women and girls that have been violated by R. Kelly, more so than Remy Ma was. Now, you can see on Jinx's face how hurt she was by some of the things that had came out about R. Kelly. You could just see her face just kind of like crumble. Like at some point she almost sounded like she was about to cry. I, I hope that girl has not been um, subject to any type of abuse, but maybe not. it's not even that. Maybe she just feels very, very um, empathetic to her sister. But I noticed that in some cases, people that look like you and that you would expect to have empathy for your plight don't sometimes the people that you expect to speak up for you and stand up for you are the ones that are most against you and they have a very adversarial any enemy like energy think about that as a woman you expect another woman to feel you and being that Remy Ma's from the Bronx and, you know, she's seen urban life, she's seen rough and tough neighborhoods, she's been in a male-dominated industry, she knows women are alone, uh, you know, just on, on the strength of being a woman, you're the underdog. But when we speak in terms of um, any type of sexual violation or, or, or abuse, it, it's predominantly the woman or, or the female that is being abused. That's not to say that men and males don't get abused sexually. They act sexually, especially little boy children, they, they absolutely do. But in most circumstances, the victims of rape and sexual violation is fe the, the victims are female. And that's because biologically, they don't have the physical strength to fight off predators the same way that a male would. Just think about that. So here we go with Miss Remy Ma again. Here, this is her look that she was rocking on the show that day. Um, like I said, very beautiful girl, but you can tell by her face, she like, she was serving this face, like she is not being bothered by all these emotional appeals that the rest of the panel was throwing at her. And one of her quotes that somebody actually brought up, I'm going to find her exact quote so I could read it to you, but she's talking about the last time she checked, rapists don't eat ass. Isn't that sick, you guys? She said, last time she checked, rapists don't eat ass. She mentioned seeing a couple of tapes of R. Kelly with the alleged, the, the, the victim. I don't even like to say alleged. The victim that he was accused of, the little 14-year-old back in the day um, from Chicago that he was raping and that he urinated and um, abused on camera. And she said, you know, that girl was taking it. She was taking it. And because she was taking the abuse in the mind of a woman like Remy Ma, that means that, that, that therefore should conclude that she wasn't being abused. Because you're taking it, you're not being abused. Okay, stupid comment. Moving on. Okay, so I found her commentary in print. Like I said, it's on, on the video, which I will link at the bottom of this, this particular video that I'm doing. My phone always rings when I get on, on the computer. God. But anyway, um, but you can see her commentary here, and it, it's a disconnect. 
This girl is playing that ride or die role. That's why I had her in that dumbass cape, looking like the the the. the the goblin defender the dumbass that she's uh, the position of the dumbass that she's playing right now um but she's really in a video i just dropped but it's on hold right now because of a couple of copyright issues which i am um disputing and hopefully I'll have that video very soon. I think it's a pretty cool video. I'm mad because on certain parts, the audio sped up a little bit. But I, I go into detail about how black chicks are on a pimp frequency. And it's it's very hard to, to for black chicks to cut the cord. Even if we're not kin to no dude. Even if we're not he's not our husband he's not our relative he's not our son we treat random dudes out there in the world as if we have to protect them as if they are in the position of husband son brother uncle daddy something of that nature and let's keep it 100 percent funky even if it was my father, even if it was my son, even if it was my brother, husband, if I found out Nan, one of they asses, was some perverted child rapist or woman abuser, I couldn't rock with them. I'm sorry, I couldn't rock with them. But here this woman, Miss Remy Ma, is out here looking totally, completely unbothered unbothered as fuck when this um the allegation or the, the 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 topic of r kelly's abuse comes to the forefront and she keeps making mention like well he is talented well he is illiterate i don't care i don't give a fuck if r kelly is illiterate what we supposed to cry now because this nigga can't read bitch are you stupid women like this really they really scare me but let me go to her words the guy jinx brought up the fact that r kelly had a lair he, you know the lair we heard about where he supposedly kidnapped some some young ladies and they're not allowed to leave she here's the dumbass I'm like, lair talking about it wasn't that were complaining, it was the mothers. It's so weird that we live in a world where women and men do some sick shit and they be with it. If your daughter's 14, 16, 17, and she wants to fuck a guy who's 20 anything and 30 anything, you're fighting against it. I'm not saying that he's right, but from history, he's been labeled as being illiterate. He's talented, but he's not the brightest person. I remember that first case with the urination and all of that. It was sort of in his defense. I'm not taking either side. How do you combat somebody who likes younger women? What about the parents? Are they okay with that? She's deflecting like hell. Like, I'm telling you, we talk about black dudes being in a sunken place, but I'm telling you, black women are the poster child for the sunken place. We, our demographic is the poster child of the fucking sunken, but we are brain damaged as a collective. We have no sense of self-preservation at all. She'll rather defend a nigga that ain't no kin to her. She sees a bond with this dude on the basis that she was in prison and he could potentially go to prison her bond with this creep is so tight just based on those facts that she doesn't have any, any empathy for young girls who take get taken advantage of by predators and she's a woman herself and then she she makes fun of the me too movement movement you know on the download here here she go is it also the climate right now for anyone who's accused of any type of abuse physical abuse sexual abuse this movement and rally to bring them all down i'm a little bit more cautious with using terms like 
he got away with it because I, I know how this society works. Oh my fucking God. As much as I like Lovely T, and I know most of you are familiar with Lovely T's platform, she talks about a lot of gossip news, and I like her get down for the most part. I don't always agree with her. I think she's a beautiful girl, but I was pissed off at her. I might find her video. She did that about a couple months ago, where she was talking about an episode of Wendy Williams, where Wendy Williams broke down crying because r kelly can't read like I, I, I to this day i'm still like who gives a fuck the fuck the fuck the fuck who get like and we caring about what rapists can read and write about like what where are we as women but i was pissed off at lovely t because she came out on some i'm tired of this me too movement too. And the reason why she said that because she was agreeing with Wendy Williams, who we all already know is a full-blooded, untrustworthy, pimp frequency drowning ass bitch. She's drowning in the pimp frequency. You guys have to see my video when I um when I put up one of that. I think it's a pretty video if I should say so myself. Make sure that you tune in and that you're subscribed and that you hit the bell symbol with my videos um, so that you're aware because, you know, YouTube's um, algorithm, algorithms, can't even say the word right now and whatnot, they kind of, you know, suppress a lot of videos, especially when they're talking on topics that concern um, topics like this here. They don't like you really talking about and putting child molestation on blast. Um you know, even the larger structure, to me, it seems like it protects black predators. It really does. It really does protect black predators. We don't want that information out there. We want um, black women to stay in la-la land and to be just marks, just food out here for this machine that is using our spirit and our energy against us. And again, I talk about that about um in my video about the pimp frequency but i digress um but yeah lovely t was on some yeah i'm tired of the, i agree with wendy williams i'm tired of this me too movement also because it's been hijacked by white chicks anyway because it was started by a black woman and blah 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 okay even if it was hijacked by white chicks i you know and a, a part of me doesn't even care about that you know why because white women have the strength and the support behind them to bring critical issues like this to the masses where at least somebody will give a damn i hate to say it but i didn't even know that the Me Too movement initially was started by a black woman. That poor woman, she gave a horrific tale about how she suffered at the hands of being raped. And, and, and if you read her story, oh my God, it is, it's just horrible. But she tagged the name Me Too because she was when she was telling her story, she found out that it was so many other women just like her that grew up just like her that had been through similar circumstances and they were too scared to tell. So I don't give a damn if a white woman is talking about it and bringing it to the masses and to the forefront and they're grabbing the microphone and screaming to the top of their lungs about this serious issue. It should be brought to the forefront. So for Remy Ma to be sitting there, cutting her eyes, cutting her eyes like people are getting on her damn nerves bringing a good talented brother down Remy Ma she gonna have to hold this L she, she's really gonna hold this L I could really go on and on and on about this 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 topic cause it really you know I've seen this, this type of shit up close and personal when, I, when it comes to child victimization, when it comes to toxic family dynamics, when it comes to kids being abused. And even in my own experiences and the experiences of other people that I know, 
I noticed that motherfuckers ain't got time for it. It's like you're shitting on them and you're raining their, down on their parade because you dare even broach the topic. Like, really? And I'll leave with this last thing here. This is not the last that I'll be speaking about Mr. R. Kelly, but I'll leave with this here. When it comes to back black children, for some reason, it's, it's very hard for people to actually give a damn. It's a sad fact, but it's true. But I want you guys to pay attention. This has happened before. Children, black children have been victimized right up under our very noses in the past, have been made the sacrifice because the world at large is, and even those among us that look like us, just cut their eyes and look like they don't give a shit. A case that I'll bring to your to the forefront just to remind you there were kids and children killed in Atlanta Georgia in the late 70s going into the early 80s there was close to 30 that we know of that were murdered murdered within a two-year time frame and you know who the perpetrator was a black dude he was convicted some people, just like Remy Ma, well, I ain't taking sides. Some people say the guy convicted didn't actually do it. But I want you to think hard, hard in the back of your mind. Why it makes, why is it so easy to harm black children? The answer is because there's such a wide, wide, open wide gate of access to them and nobody is protecting, is protecting, is protecting. No one is protecting the area where the children are. And for a person usually to get next to a child in order to actually either rape them or kill them, they have to be in a lot of in a lot of cases in a certain space where the child actually trusts them. And just like those children in Atlanta in the late 70s going into the early 80s when they were murdered one by one just picked off kids were going to the store picking up candy coming home from school just outside playing and just disappearing and then days later bodies found in rivers thrown away in empty uh, parking lots and um, back alleys and shit these children were just thrown away because they trusted somebody. And usually the person that a child trusts is someone that looks like them. That's how you get access. That's how the vampire predatory beast gets access. And that's exactly how R. Kelly has gotten access. He's not on record for killing any children, at least not physically ending their lives. But he's killed a whole lot of people. A whole bunch of people's children. He's killed them emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. And the way he's been able to do this is because he's had such easy access to the bodies of children all these parents looking for 
a one-way ticket to fame for their children. I won't necessarily call them evil for wanting their kids to be successful and to succeed, but to leave them in the hands of a guy, a lot of times they didn't even know well enough to leave their children with, but because he shared the same skin, because he looked like one of their kind, because he was known to make some good records, oh, he's the dude I can leave my kid around and it's all good. It's disgusting and it's despicable. How our children are left to their own defenses with no real defense. No first line of defense. Not only is there not a first line of defense for black women, there are, there is not a first line of defense for black children, not even the goddamn women in the community in a lot of cases. That's not every woman, but far too many. Look at Remy Ma's face, y'all. This chick is on violet as fuck unbothered as fuck she cares more about r kelly accidentally doing some time for some shit that we all know he did than she cares about the sanctity and the innocence and the peace of mind and the mental wholeness of a damn child i just can't remember me ma she got to hold this l and i hope eventually she'll see the error in her thinking because it's interesting she called Nicki Minaj out on the carpet for supporting her blood brother about child molestation but here go Remy Ma supporting a, a guy that's a virtual stranger to her she he's no blood kin she might know him on a celebrity level, like, oh, okay, that's R. Kelly, you know. I don't know if he's helped her with her career in any way. I haven't heard anything of that sort. But even if he did, he still, he ain't blood. But because he fits the narrative, the poor, broken, um, downtrodden black male, because he has the same skin type, the same skin color, the same hair texture, because he looks like he could be one of her relatives. He's of utmost importance. And chicks like her, they will throw on that cape. They will throw on that cape and everything else be damned. And that's what she's done. So this saga will continue. I'm going to pay attention to this story and see any other commentary. Um, and another thing with her, I'll, I'll say this before going out. A lot of times, very beautiful women, um, and that's not all beautiful women, but a lot of girls that are considered really pretty because they feel like they don't have those issues like, you know, I'm pretty and a lot of guys treat me nice. I'm married to Papoose and I have a new baby on the way and we live in a big house and I have a baby. And yeah, I had my rough time, but you know, all people aren't bad because I have a, 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 a good dude over here. You know, they, they're, they're in La La Land because they think things are going well for them. So they give the rest of the world their ass to kiss. And that's dangerous, dangerous thinking. Women like this are very dangerous to other women, but not just other women. They're dangerous to children because they do not care. I'm interested to know if she knows the sex of her child yet. And if it is a little girl. I wonder how, how um, on the team she'll be if she were to find out the likes of a R. Kelly got a her hold of her daughter. But the way I'm seeing black chicks get down these days, shit, I don't know. She probably still wouldn't care, so who's to say? 
But that's my commentary on that. It's something to think about, y'all. I'd love to hear your thoughts. You know, the, the, the topic of R. Kelly is it's, it's ongoing. It's never stopping. And um, not only does Remy Ma have to hold the L, the black community has to hold the L for R. Kelly. Because he represents every nasty uncle, grandpa, daddy, brother, uh, neighbor that's gotten away with molesting a black child and everybody smiled and grinned in this motherfucker's face. I got family members who've done the same thing. So the, the black community has to hold this L. And for those of the, us that are standing strong and speaking truth to, truth to power and calling out the bullshit, salute to y'all, salute to y'all. Don't be afraid to, to speak on certain things just because, you know, the 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 black community is on a certain frequency that's very low it's very low and in a lot of cases demonic but we can raise above that we can rise above it we can raise above it and we can protect our children even if they aren't ours just speaking for them on their behalf protects them a lot more than they ever have been in the past because let's face it, a lot of times people blame the child when bullshit comes to the forefront. So, but again, that's just something to think about. I know it's a little heavy topic, but um, I'm real disappointed in, in Remy Ma. And I think she needs to get her act together. <clears throat> but as of for now, she is officially canceled. <laughs> but that's just my word, y'all. Talk to y'all later. Oh,